What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, as well as the S&P 500. As you guys know, I like to do a different cryptocurrency here on the channel every single week with your guys' help. And what that means is definitely comment your favorite altcoin in the comment section down below. I will be picking one of these comments to review in next week's videos. So if you guys comment something like Doge or even, you know, uh, Stellar or just some Something, maybe a crypto that nobody has heard of, uh, I'll be picking one of them to review in next week's episode, seeing if it is a good topic to review and maybe something to potentially invest into. Otherwise, more importantly, what we're going to be looking at in today's episode within these major cryptocurrencies is the small correction we're starting to see back to the upside. Some of these cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have started to make moves from the 30k support level that we were at all the way up to about $34,000. XRP currently sitting at about 67 cents. And although the markets are sitting fairly nice right now, and they don't look too bad trading pretty much in the median between their price ceiling and price floors, I just want to talk about better opportunities to invest into this, what my plans are moving forward, and how I plan to coordinate around these major movements. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's jump into today's episode. So to start looking at the current coin market cap, we look pretty good across the board. I mean, overall market is up about 4.5%. Top 10 cryptocurrencies look okay. Everything is pretty much up 7, 3.5, 4, 4.8, 5, 8%, and like 3.9%. So about averaging 4 to 5% across the top 10 cryptocurrencies. Now, what's interesting is when you get a deeper look into things here, you can see within XRP, we have Ethereum, we have Bitcoin, we have Litecoin. A lot of these cryptocurrencies, even though they're trading within what appears to be a bigger uh, support or resistance level, there is some sort of resistance that these coins are starting to retest and starting to hit. With XRP, you can see clearly here, I mean, I can slightly tweak this just for everyone's you know, approval, but you can see right now what exactly we're looking at. There is some sort of downtrend that's been on this coin for quite some time now. We had a beautiful uptrend that uh, became retested pretty much back uh, middle of June. We had like June 18th, June 17th. We retested this support level right here. We broke bearish through it. This was really a Hail Mary for most of these markets to hopefully be able to, you know, break us out above here and retest a dollar for XRP, hopefully allowing us to eventually swing back up to the dollar 87, maybe even the $2 resistance that we've retested in uh, mid April. But what's interesting is you can see since breaking bearish from that, We've pretty much formed a lower high trend where prices on XRP have been able to pretty much hit lower and lower and lower and lower and ultimately continue to follow this path to pretty much start to correct lower until we hit some sort of bottom that will allow us to eventually break higher. So who knows? We don't know how long this downtrend is going to play out for, but we have to be prepared. And that's pretty much what we're here to do on today's episode. Now, it's not just Ethereum that seems to be re -hitting, uh, or retesting and hitting resistance like XRP is right now. Notice Ethereum with this descending, open descending fractal, it's hitting the top resistance as well. You can see the same lower high pattern is forming where we have retesting supports, uh, resistances, and just continuing to play out so on and so forth with a lower high and a lower high and so on and so forth. And it goes even farther. Bitcoin within its major descending fractal here. So even though we're trading inside a major, uh, you know, sideways channel with support being 30K and resistance being 40K, there seems to be some sort of descending fractal that has formed since then. Notice the same lower high formation where prices pretty much drop lower and lower and lower and the highs that we were creating keep getting lower than the prior one. And this should continue to play out. Obviously, there's at some point a possibility that we reverse the uptrend breakthrough, find that bottom support and eventually start to break out of this bear market that we've been in for the past couple of weeks. But until then, we still have to play the devil's advocate and consider correction to the downside. Now, once again, it's not just Bitcoin. Litecoin also has a descending fractal where each time the price goes higher or a retest to pump higher, 
it falls lower than the last one. Notice when we started, we were at $211. We fell to $203. The next attempt was at 194 and then at 175 and then at 140 And this pattern is continuing to form inside this descending fractal, whatever you want to call it. Now, notice as this has slowly allowed prices to correct lower, notice we started this back um, in May. So we had... Uh, May, June, and we're entering July. So it's been pretty much two solid months entering the third month right now. We are looking for a bottom, and that's the goal here. We don't know how this market is going to react compared to how we've been in 2017 and 2018. There's a lot more buying opportunities for cryptocurrency, as we know. It's a lot easier to get your hands on cryptocurrencies, on some major exchanges, and platforms that just deal with finance like Robinhood and Cash Out. So we don't know how long this bear market is going to last. It may very well not last nearly as long as we've seen in the past, which is good for everyone's overall you know, investing strategies here on the channel. We're a little bit more advanced than just regular beginner traders. I consider myself a conservative advanced style of trader, um, which with that means we look for other opportunities to make money, whether it's the market pumping up. And also whether the market is correcting lower. So there's a lot of people that use Robinhood and Coinbase that don't really know how to short markets and make money in a bear market. And that's pretty much what we do here on the channel. So with that, we are still looking for supports to be retested. There is still rock bottom support levels that uh, we haven't broken through just yet to confirm once again, another few weeks of bear market. And what that means is for Litecoin breaking below bottom support, which would be 139, 140, that's support level, or sorry, I lied, uh, about one. 19 to 120. 120 bucks on Litecoin seems to be the last bottom we've retested, and it actually holds a pretty big support on this coin. We then know that if at any point we break below here and close a daily candle below a buck 20, there's a good chance that prices are just going to immediately correct back down to where the next support level would be at about 60 bucks. So we're going to experience another massive drop in price. How long overall or how much of a percentage drop does that actually appear to be? When we take the price range from the immediate top to currently where we are, we've only fallen about 65%. Back down to 120, it's been about 71. If we correct us all the way back down to 64, where that major support is, it's about 85%, which seems to be the median for most cryptocurrency you know, crashes we've seen across the board since, you know, its existence in 09. Now, notice it's not just Litecoin. We have Bitcoin here with a very similar pattern as well. Starting off, uh, re, you know, the correction back at 64,000. Notice we have a beautiful support at 30K. Uh, we seem to hold support and resistances at intervals of $10,000 on uh, XR or on uh, Bitcoin right now. And you can see if I just grab the price range, what Look at where 85% lands. So from the start uh, to where we are now, it's about 46 down to 30K. And then uh, at 30K, we're about 53% down uh, to 20K, we're about 70% down and 80-ish percent lands us at about 10K. 85% is at the $10,000 interval. Now notice there's two more waves here. If we break through 30K, which is what we're looking at, uh, Bitcoin seems to be the 30K support. If price is broken through there, and, cl and if we close below this support level, notice that we haven't yet done that. We've wicked below it in the past, but it seems to be a very strong support, just like Litecoin is. Litecoin has a very strong support right across the board here. We can always change this color to something else. We can do, uh, let's say, blue as that rock bottom support. And you can see for Bitcoin, 30K seems to be right here. So let's draw that out for you guys. And you can see the resemblance with a blue support here, how similar these charts look. So notice right here, Rock bottom support lands us at 30K. Litecoin rock bottom support lands us at about 125. These are supports that if prices ever break through there, expect to see an immediate reversal to the downside. So notice, as we've been retesting this, we're kind of trading inside supports and resistances. And we know that if we can see some sort of significant volume break us above $40,000 on Bitcoin, it is a good buying opportunity to capitalize on a run. Now, my only concern with the way Bitcoin has been trending is with its lower high formation. Notice this is only short term here, but if we grab maybe a trend line and correct us downwards, notice where this downtrend plays out. Notice that if prices come back up to retest 40K, where that would immediately lead us to. Let's say we come back up 
And hopefully it pulls maybe back to the end of July where we maybe eventually retest that. That would be a good indicator to say, okay, this is apex right here. This is where not only the downtrend or the lower high formations form, which you can see would be something like this, constant retests, but we also have the uptrend that we've started back, I think in end of or, or late January of 2021. No, this is October of 2020. The uptrend here forms um, and then we correct. So this is kind of that apex that's been forming here right now. So if we can break through this area right here, 40K acts as that major resistance. And if we can get above there, we can start to correct back up and maybe enter a bull market and correct outside of that bear market that we're seeing. But short term, what we're looking for is once again, trading inside, and I'm gonna put this back to yellow because it's just easier on my eyes. But you can see, once again, we're still floating inside of here. We've done it before where prices have pretty much just trended out, eventually we broke up. Now we're back down below it, and prices for the most part have pretty much just been floating inside of here. So we'll see how long we decide to trend inside. It gets boring trading between 30 and 40K, but volume is building. And eventually, as consolidation happens, we're going to see a big retest whether or not we break through the 40K and swing us back up to 60, or we break through the 30K and correct us back down to 16 or $20,000. So everything is riding on which direction this wants to poke at. As a conservative trader, I always say I don't like to trade inside these movements right here because it's extremely risky. Obviously, if you're into really aggressive risky trades, go for it. But as a conservative trader, what I'm waiting for is to either retest bottom support at 30K, and if we close above here, we'll leverage it all the way up to 40, or we retest 40, close below it, and we leverage it all the way back down to 30K. Those are big intervals to capitalize on runs. But for right now, since the correction, which we did capitalize on when we retested 30K back on June 26, we shot back up, we retested about 36,000. So from 30 to 36,000, about a $5,000 move um, from like 31 where it was, that leveraged is a pretty substantial profit. And that's held me over for the past couple of days. So I'm waiting right now to see which direction we want to lead to. And once we retest these apex points, these strongholds, that's what will decide which direction we buy into to short. Same thing applies with Ethereum and XRP. XRP pretty much has similar movements to Bitcoin. So what we're waiting for ultimately with XRP is for us to see, well, are we going to retest this support? If this bottom support gets broken at 60 cents and we close below here, which would be pretty much 56 seems to be that support level. We close below here. Let's say we close at 51 cents or 50 cents. We know to short it back down to 25, vice versa. If we can break this uptrend here, we might be able to rally back up to a dollar and that would be leveraging it all the way up. So if we can close maybe closer to 73 cents, that's a good opportunity for a short swing all the way up to a dollar. And then hopefully we break through that and so on and so forth. Um, and lastly, for S&P 500, we look insane. Markets are exploding right now. We're coming back to retest overbought um, on the daily moving average with the daily relative strength indicator. And notice in the past we've done it and we've consolidated out. And there's been times where we've pretty much since you know, November of 2020 all the way to uh, January. So uh, November, December, January, three months, we've been pretty much teeter-tottering on the overbought here and just exploded up in percentage gains. Over those three months, we've managed to accumulate about a 10%, you know, explosion to the upside. 10% in three months is insane returns on investments. So we are looking really good right now. Markets are creating really good um, profits. So I, I have nothing to uh, nothing to you know disappoint me about the S&P 500. That's pretty much where I've been moving my crypto profits into. Otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.